Um, over the span of time that I've lived on the river, I've seen the water quality uh, decline substantially, and the water quantity varies, as we all know. But if there is water quality that it declines, and the, the quantity also declines, it's double trouble. So at this point, we're addressing the fact that you as a board were created to administer the natural resources of water in this area, which are by far going to be the most important uh, responsibilities of this planet going forward, because water is crime. And part of that responsibility is deciding who should get permits and who shouldn't get permits. And sometimes you have to draw the line somewhere. And I believe that that's where your hard decisions come in to draw the line when we have had so much water taken out of our aquifer and our springs and our river. There is a growing ecotourism business in this community. When I retired, I had 10 acres on this beautiful piece of heaven that I don't say I own. I am borrowing it until the next person comes. It is not ours. It never is. We will pass it on. When I retired, I was somebody recommended, oh, you should open it to let more people come. So I've got two vacation rentals. I've had that for four years on the river. Ecotourism would be cycling. We, I have had people from all over the world come. I've had people from Germany, from China. The web is an amazing thing. You put it out there and they come. And we try to train them while we're there and explain to them that our springs are suffering. You used to hear our springs gurgle. When was the last time you heard a spring gurgle? It's rough because there's not enough water coming out. So the ecotourism is providing people that come, buy at Winn-Dixie at the drugstore, eat at the restaurants, buy gas. They are providing economy to this area that will completely go away if our rivers dry up. White Springs, dry up. White Springs is no longer an area that brings the people that draw out. We don't want that to happen to our Santa Fe River and the other springs in this area. There has to be a line drawn, and we feel that it's your tremendous responsibility to decide. And when you've got a massive, giant, corporate, huge behemoth coming into town to, to suck us dry, I think that this is time to draw the line. So thank you for your hard work, and we hope you make all the right decisions for our community going forward, and hopefully ecotourism will continue to come, and we will have to move on.